Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So, I have had this beautiful Fiesta Ride Strat now for about four or five months. It was the first Strat I ever got, and I love it. It plays great, it feels great, and it does sound great, but to contradict myself, the only thing I don't really like about this guitar is the pickups. And that is because this is a custom shop Strat. It's... Um, not technically a reissue, but it's based on, you know, your average sort of 50s Strat. I believe it's 50s, it might be 60s, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, it's from that sort of era. Um, so of course these pickups are, I don't know what the exact model name is for these. I don't know if there is an exact model name, but they are vintage voiced which means that they come with a lot of hum. That's fine when you're playing on clean and you know low gain settings, which I guess most people would be with um, you know vintage reissue or just vintage strats. That's the kind of sound they're going for and that's cool and it has its charm, the whole you know hum coming through the amp thing. But for me personally, I do a lot of gigs where I play on high gain lead patches. And it's okay when I'm using my Act Effects because this has a noise gate built into it. Um, even though I don't really like using noise gates, I don't like the way they cut off. I just don't think they sound that good. But um, it does help when you've got noisy pickups like these. But when I'm not using the Act Effects and I'm just going straight into uh, you know an amp like a Boss Katana, which I have down here, you can't see it. Um, but I used that rig um, on a gig last weekend, just the Strat into the Boss Katana on a high gain setting and the hum from the pickups was unbelievably loud. So I'm afraid these are going to have to go today. They do sound great on clean and low gain tones, but I play a lot of high gain lead stuff in addition to that. So it's just not going to work out with these pickups, I'm afraid. So what I've done is I've bought some new pickups. So what did I get? Well, I looked at a lot of stuff from Seymour Duncan, some of the new Fishman Fluence stuff as well, some bare knuckles, of course. Um, but I ended on what well, these pickups are on the floor. But in the end, I settled on some DiMarzio pickups. So I've got three here. For the bridge, I'm putting in a DiMarzio Super Distortion. Now this is a humbucker in you know a single coil sized casing. Um, I wanted a humbucker in the bridge. Um, I knew I wanted that because I just really am not a fan of the bridge pickup on a Strat. I just think it sounds so harsh. It really, you know, cuts through the mix, but not in a good way. It, you know, it hurts your ears if it's, it's a bit too loud. So, and it just sounds a bit too thin and twangy to my ears when I'm trying to play like heavier riffs. So I went with a humbucker in the bridge. And then for the neck and middle, I've got two of the same pickup. These are DiMarzio Cruisers. I believe Andy Timmons uses these. So, you know, I trust his judgment. He's got amazing tone. Yeah, very excited to try these out. I'm gonna be installing all these pickups myself. This will be the first time I've ever attempted to replace pickups on a guitar. So uh, let's hope that it goes well. I have recorded some uh, before clips so that you can hear what the guitar sounds like with these pickups in it currently, and then I'll switch between that and the same pickup settings and same sort of riffs and stuff um, with the DiMarzios installed. So here we go. Okay, it looks like I've got everything I need to get started. I bought some cheap soldering iron, some solder this morning. New pickups going in here. Obviously I need to remove the strings first and the pick guard and then We'll get to it. Yeah, so I don't actually know what I'm gonna be doing here. Um, I just know I need a soldering iron, so I'm just gonna find some YouTube tutorial on changing strap pickups and hopefully I'll be okay. I can't remember if I said earlier on or not, but um, just to confirm, it is 
a 60s relic, not 50. So here's what the guts of the guitar look like. So I guess the next step is to remove the current pickups, so desolder them, and uh, then we'll get these DiMarzios in. Right, so I'm removing the old pickups now, and uh, then we'll worry about the rest. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I'm not gonna bother filming the rest of this. I've just taken the original pickups out and managed to put a little burn mark <laughs> in the finish of my guitar already. That was like two minutes into removing the pickups and I managed to burn my guitar. Fortunately, it's a relic anyway, so you can't tell. But uh, yeah, if you need a guitar tech, you know who to come to. I think we're pretty much done. I just need to put some new strings on the guitar, so this is the aftermath of everything. So I've got the pickups in, that's the wiring job. Um, one mistake I realise I have made is that I didn't think to try and fit all the wires into here, so there's some here, um, and those are pressing against the body when I try to put the pit guard down. So I sort of have to squash it down, um, which doesn't really feel too good, but uh, hopefully it won't be much of a problem. I'm just going to test that the pickup positions all work fine. Just by tapping the screwdriver, so no noise there, no noise there. Good, that's what I want to hear. The pickup configuration is correct. Now I just need to restring the guitar and uh, get playing. So this what you're watching right now is actually the day after I installed the pickups. If you were on my channel last night, you'll notice that I put up an Instagram improv video playing the pickups and I was uh, planning on actually filming the rest of this video last night, but I sat down and just really loved the sound of these pickups. So I started uh, jamming and uh, sort of couldn't stop. So I ended up doing an Instagram video instead. But anyway, uh, the pickups are installed now. They sound great. I really like them. This is what the guitar looks like now. So overall, I'm really pleased with these pickups. I think they sound great. Um, so I'm going to show you what they sound like now. I'm just going to uh, record some like camera audio so you can get a feel for what they sound like in the room. Uh, I'm playing through my Axe FX. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll put in a comparison of the before shots where I had the vintage voiced Fender pickups in the guitar. And I'll be playing the same things on these new DiMarzio pickups. So... Here we go. Okay, let's listen to how the guitar sounds now with these DiMarzios, two DiMarzio cruisers in the neck and middle and a DiMarzio super distortion humbucker in the bridge. <laughs> So this is neck and middle together.
playing. These sound great, I love them. The bridge humbucker, it really sings. The notes sustain really well, which is the exact tone I was after. I didn't like how the strap bridge, the vintage voice pickups that were in it before, the bridge just didn't really carry the notes the way that I wanted it to. Um, it was a bit too thin sounding, but that's definitely not the case with this. Uh, the cruisers, the neck and middle um, pickups, I actually thought these were single coils, but they're not. I looked on the DiMarzo website today, and um, it says that they are side-by-side -side coils. So they are technically humbuckers, but they're voiced so that the G, B, and E strings um, sound like fattened up single coil tones. Um, so I, I definitely hear that when I first plugged it in. I thought they were single coils because they just sound so clear, but there's a fatness to them that I didn't get with the old Fender pickups. And the E, A, and D strings are um, voiced to uh, sound more like a humbucker, I guess. So that's really cool. I really like these. Um, like I said, lots of clarity, which you can definitely hear, especially on the neck and middle position. So yeah, overall, I, I'm super impressed with these pickups. I love the way they sound. Um, they do sound stratty, but uh, the tone is a bit fatter, which is exactly what I'm after and they maintain the clarity of that classic single coil sound really well. So yeah, I couldn't be happy with these right now. Uh, good job, DiMarzio. Maybe I'll get some DiMarzios for my Les Paul and my Tele in the future, we shall see. Um, but for now, really happy with these pickups and here is what the before and after sounds like. As always, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up below and click subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.